Hello, and welcome to part two of this video series on simple conductors. I'm Erica Akins, a Chief Applications Engineer in our Cable Tech Support Services team. This training video discusses simple THHN and simple XHHW-2 constructions, ratings, and governing standards. We can understand a lot about these two UL product types just by the acronyms. For XHHW-2, the X indicates a cross-link polyethylene insulation, or XLPE. 1H is for heat-resistant product that is 75 degrees C dry. The presence of a second H indicates a high heat-resistant product that is 90 degrees C. The W indicates the product is water-resistant at 75 degrees C wet. The dash 2 allows the product to be 90 degrees C wet or dry. Similarly, for THHN, the T indicates the product is thermoplastic, 1H heat resistant, 2H high heat resistant, the W indicating a water resistance for 75 degrees C. N is for the nylon covering. And again, the dash two is for a product that is 90 degrees C wet or dry. THHN is a 90 degrees C dry rated product However, a product can have multiple ratings. THHN is often dual rated with THWN-2 for 90 degrees C wet or dry rated product. The main difference between XHHW-2 and THHN is the insulating material. XHHW-2 uses a thermal set material that has undergone a cross-linking reaction, while THHN is a thermoplastic material that has not been cross-linked. What does this mean? Thermal set materials, when operating at a higher temperature, will not melt or deform. Thermoplastic materials, however, at elevated temperatures will soften and remelt. Some other differences between the two products are the construction. XHHW-2 is a single layer of thermal set insulation, generally XLPE. It is halogen-free and typically more expensive. THHN, THWN-2, is a dual layer co-extrusion product with thermoplastic insulation, usually PVC insulation with a nylon covering. Inherently, PVC contains a halogen because it has chlorine content. Looking at the electrical and thermal characteristics of the product, we see that XHHW-2 can be rated for 600 volt or 1000 volts, while THHN can only be rated for 600 volts. The dielectric constant for XHHW products is 70% less than that of THHN. While both products can operate at 90 degrees C, XHHW-2 has a higher maximum short circuit temperature rating of 250 degrees C and a lower minimum installation temperature of minus 40 degrees C. THHN maximum short circuit temperature is 150 degrees C and the minimum installation temperature is minus 10 degrees C. Across all sizes, insulation wall thickness is increased in the XHHW-2 resulting in a larger overall diameter of the final product. The increase in thickness also leads to a reduced electrical stress in the insulation that can lead to longer life on the conductor. THHN has a thinner insulation wall, while the nylon layer provides protection to the construction and allows for reduction of the insulation material. Due to the thin wall, greater electrical stress is seen in the insulation. THHN THWN-2 is a PVC insulated product with a nylon protective sheath over the PVC. The protective layer of nylon allows us to reduce the PVC insulating layer. For example, a 14 gauge THHN has 21 mils of insulation, which is made of 15 mils of PVC and 5 mils of nylon. The nylon layer serves as two engineering purposes. Physical protection before, during, and after installation, and to provide chemical resistance to the product. Let's take a moment to address some frequently asked questions about the insulation and the jacket for THHN THWN-2. There are two main questions we see regarding THHN THWN conductors. What to do about the wrinkles in the nylon that occur when the conductor is bent? And what to do about tearing, nicks, or delamination of the nylon layer due to improper handling or installation? We recommend a jacket repair that can be deployed in the field easily using electrical tapes. 
It is important to note that the electrical properties of THHN, THWN will not be impacted due to minor damages to the thin nylon layer. Repaired cables still sustain long-term life and performance when properly repaired. Cable Tech Support Services offers field assistance to review photos or videos of damaged cables and provide a go-no-go -go decision on the feasibility of deploying Southwire's jacket repair procedure. We recommend a total replacement of cables if the inner layer of the PVC insulation is compromised or if the bare conductor is exposed. Both simple products are fully compliant with UL. THHN is compliant with UL 83 standard for thermoplastic insulated wires and cables. Some additional features for our THHN, THWN, THWN-2 products are that for eight gauge and larger, the product is sunlight resistant. For one aught and larger, the products are rated for cable tray use. Sizes 14 through six gauge are dual rated with appliance wiring material. All sizes are dual rated for machine tool wiring. The products are flame rated for VW1 and FT1. All sizes are oil and gasoline resistant too for 75 degrees C. Standard THHN, THWN, THWN-2 is also dual rated for Canadian applications T90 nylon and TWN75. There are also NOM-ANSI approvals for Mexico. XHHW is fully compliant with UL44 for thermoset insulated wire and cables. Our standard XHHW, XHHW-2 also carries a variety of optional ratings. All sizes are 600 volt and nom ANSE approved for Mexico. For eight gauge and larger constructions, the products are sunlight resistant, oil and gasoline resistant too for 75 degrees C and rated for 1000 volts. For 350 kc mil and larger, the constructions are FT4 flame rated. One aught and larger are rated for use in cable trays. Sizes 14 to 10 gauge are dual rated for SIS for switchboard applications. Our sales team is able to provide an assertion of compliance upon request. It is important to note that Southwire does not provide certified test reports or CTRs for production test data for orders on building wire products rated 2KV and lower. All products are designed, produced, and tested to the industry standards. For low voltage products, the insulation is monitored during extrusion, either by spark test or computer controlled vision equipment. <music>